Today I'm going to spend a few minutes looking at uh, something called JAN, J-A-N, which is a open source chat GPT alternative that runs entirely offline on your computer, providing a fully self-contained LLM experience, which is exactly what it does. So if you notice, there are several other products of a similar type here. The one I'm going to talk about, though, is JAN, because I find it the most uh, straightforward to use. It's not complicated. The interface is pretty nice. So if you go to the website here, it shows you it is 100% open source. And it is, as they said, uh, it allows you to run many different op uh, language, open source large language models that come in the GGUF format. So the, f the file is named a .gguf file. Um, you can download the JAN program, and it's being updated pretty regularly for Apple Mac, uh, Apple Silicon Mac, uh, Intel Mac, Windows, an app image for Linux, and uh, Deb for Linux. Uh, if you go to Hugging Face, you can see they have several specific models available for JAN. You can see here they've got collections, models. You can open this up. There's many models in here for different things. The models listed are all open source. You can run some uh, proprietary models, but you do need an API key to do that. And then if we, go, what I did was I downloaded the app image. You can see here, all you have to do is download the file, right click on it, make sure it's executable in the properties. So allow executing program, allow executing fileless program, I should say. And then you simply run it. I should say this is on a an AMD Ryzen laptop. It's nothing special. It's a Ryzen 5, 6 core, 12 threads. It's got 20 gigs of RAM, 18 of which is usable because it uses 2 gigs for the onboard graphics. Um, so it's a low to mid-range laptop. So if we start this up, I'm going to make the screen full size. Right now, the model I'm running is Trinity. I also have Phi on here, which is smaller and runs a bit faster. It tends to be the larger models run more slowly, naturally enough, because they're using more horsepower. Um, if we go over to the left side here, this is the chat interface here. Um, if you go here to the second tab here, it shows you the most of the many of the models, the sort of more curated models that are available. You can download pretty much anything with a .gguf file type from Hugging Face, uh, but these are the ones that they have sort of set up to work properly. You will notice some of them this is not enough RAM, which is because my system, as I said, only has about 18 gigs free of RAM, and when you get close to that, it's pretty slow. Um, but the ones I have now are uh, Phi, which is smaller, and Trinity, which is 4 gigs. Most of these files are pretty big. As you can see, they're 4 gigs, 7 gigs, you know. There are some smaller ones here too, like LamaCorn, Tiny Llama Chat. Um, there is a server, a local API server, which I have not used. You can probably look on the site. To see. I think it allows you to run the model on another PC and then remotely connect to it on your local network, which might be handy. Um, the settings down here allow you to change you know, the look and feel of the app, and there's a, a bunch of settings for different things. You can also use the, uh, the OpenAI, Claude, those kind of things, but you do need an API for those, because those are proprietary, so you need to already subscribe to those and have an API key available. So let's go back real quick to the chat. Uh, I am not the world's best typist by any means, so just bear with me. Now you'll see this is not fast. It's going to start out first, but this is not fast, but it's not unusable. It's perfectly, you know, acceptable to me anyway. Now I have run this. Uh, you'll see the other token speed is about uh, less than five. 
tokens a second, which is pretty slow. But on my uh, Windows box downstairs, which has a an older but okay graphics card, an RTX 2070 Super uh, with 8 gigs of RAM, the token speed is around 40, 50, but more than that sometimes, depending on the model. So it really flies down there. And, uh, and just to show you how easy it is to change models, we go back over here to the models. You can see, you can just do the drop down and pick Phi. And then try and ask it something else here. Again, I am not a typist, I apologize. So it's starting the Phi model now. And it should give us a response here pretty pretty quickly. And you'll notice it is a bit faster because the, the Phi model is small. It's uh, almost seven tokens a second here. So this is limited to the date when the model was compiled and you know, set up. It doesn't have any internet access. You can't ask it what the score was on uh, you know, the baseball game tonight. It doesn't know. But it is interesting. It lets you try these things and just fiddle around. Don't worry about any data being sent anywhere. It's a really nice way to, to test these out. And like I said, there are a large number of models. If you have a computer that has a dedicated graphics card, particularly an NVIDIA one, where you've set up uh, CUDA on it, it can be quite quick. Um, as I said, the one I have downstairs runs much quicker than this. I just wanted to show on a laptop what it's like. It's, it's Like I said, it's not fast, but it's perfectly acceptable. Jan is free. Um, you can download it for free, use it for free. It is updated quite regularly. Uh, it does check automatically for updates at the beginning. And the interface can be changed up. Um, it, there's a lot of choices in it. it. It's really a nice little program. I've uh, been very content using it. It's fun. I have uh, links below as usual. So until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you again. Bye-bye.